I'm Heba, and I'm going to take you through a mat one Pilates session today. So you're going to stand on your mat with your feet about hip width apart, standing nice and tall. We're going to breathe in, reach the arms up. Breathe out, take the arms down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out to lower. One more time. Inhale, lift. Hold the arms out to the side now and just gently glide your ribs over to one side. Come back to the center. Glide your ribs over to the other side and center. And imagine someone's pulling your arm one way and then pulling your arm the opposite way. And you're shifting your ribs from one side to the other. Breathe out, reach. In center, out, reach. Center, reach one more on each side and relax. And now we're going to inhale, open the chest and lift the back. Exhale, go back and round. Inhale, extend the spine and lift your chest. Exhale, feel like someone's pushed you from your breastbone and you're going back in space. Forward and back. Forward and back. One more time. Forward and back and release. Roll your shoulders back, big circles. Two. Three, and we change direction. Roll them forward. One, two, three. Soften your knees. You breathe in. Side bend with your spine. Breathe out. Drop your head and shoulders forward for half a circle. We go all the way over to the opposite side and back up again. And you inhale. Side bend the other way. Exhale. Drop your head and shoulders forward to the opposite side and lift. You're trying to keep your pelvis really stable. Roll over the legs, but you don't want to go too low. Just shallow enough to feel this in your lower back. It's a nice opening. One more time. Inhale, side bend. Roll forward to the opposite side and lift. Good. Make your left foot feel heavy. And I'm mirroring you. I'm going to lift your right leg up. And you're just going to sit, do a hip pendulum side to side, trying to keep the pelvis absolutely level. So as you swing your leg from side to side like this, you're trying not to hit your hip up. Good. Now open the leg out 45 degree. Keep your hip bones pointing forward, and you do another side to side pendulum. And relax. Take the other leg up, lengthen, side to side hip pendulum. You're trying to loosen up the hip joint so that all this can stay nice and stable. And core stability comes mainly from good isolation of your legs to your pelvis and lower back. We open the leg out 45 degree, but your pelvis is unaffected. It's still pointing forward. You go side to side. And you can lean against a wall if you want to with this. And relax. Great stuff. Okay, we're going to do a few squats now. We're going to take the feet just wider than hip distance. You're going to breathe in to bend the knees. Breathe out to stretch your legs. Inhale to bend. Exhale, stretch. Whenever you're doing squats, you want to think of your leg bone. Both ends of the bone have to move at the same time. So the top end of the bone moves back, the bottom end moves forward, and then we stretch the legs. And typically, what we like to do is knees first, then hips. So think as soon as your knees bend, your hips should bend as well. You should flex at the hips as soon as the knees bend, and then everything comes up at the same time. So breathe in to lower, out to lift. Like you're sitting on a chair behind you, keeping your spine in neutral, and just warming up the legs a little bit. So keep going. Thinking of that bone rhythm, both, both ends of your bone moving at the same time. Good. We go down, take it into an arm circle. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale, reach. Reach forward. Lift two more. Down. Up and release. Well done. We're going to stand at the back of the mat now and we're going to roll down to an all fours position. So standing tall, roll down one vertebra at a time, bend the knees, and take yourself out to an all fours position. And from here, you're going to do a few pelvic tilts. You're going to stick the bottom out 
bottom in, bottom out, bottom in. Just finding your neutral alignment and your neutral pelvis. Good, once you've found your halfway position, hold that position, hold your abdominals in, and we're gonna do swimming kneeling. So you're gonna reach opposite arm to opposite leg. Inhale, bring the arm and the leg back down. Exhale, reach other side. And inhale, bring it down. We're gonna reach and hold. And see if you can balance here, keeping the shoulders level and the hip bones level. We're gonna circle the ankle and the wrist at the same time. I'm just gonna show you my ankle. Change direction. Trying to stay absolutely level. And take it down. Reach opposite arm, opposite leg again, feeling very, very stable. Circle the ankle round, circle your wrists. Hold the abdominals in, change direction. And relax. You want a really brief shell stretch here. Breathing into the back of the rib cage. Lovely. Roll up, swing your legs round to the front. And we're going to do some roll downs to start with. So, sitting tall with the arms in front of you, you're gonna exhale, roll just off your sitting bones, rocking back, scooping the abdominals in just to engage your core. Inhale, we go all the way back up again. Exhale, we roll down. And inhale to re-lengthen. And if you want to, you can roll all the way down. Just go as low as you're able to come back up again. So I'm gonna go to lower back, and then I'm gonna re-lengthen up through the spine reaching the arms forward. Exhale, roll off your sitting bones. If you've come all the way down, go ahead and take your arms back. Circle the arms around, nod, and peel the spine up and re-lengthen. It's a good idea to have your legs squeezed together or maybe with a pillow between your knees so that your hip flexors don't start gripping. You know, when you feel like your legs are just not anchored down, if you squeeze them together, it feels a lot nicer. We're rolling back, take the arms overhead, so circle around and re-lengthen. Remember, you don't have to go all the way down. It's better to do the half ones than to roll all the way down and swing up using momentum. So roll back, circle. This is just to mobilize your spine, re-lengthen. One more time, rolling back, circle, all the way up, and re-lengthen. Roll back, hug your knee into your chest. Transition now. You're gonna stretch your left leg low, just hovering above the ground. Slide your shoulders away from your ears and curl up with your head and shoulders, bringing your forehead quite close to the knee. And you're gonna swap, hugging the leg towards you a lot. And again, change, hug. And again, change, hug, hug, and hug. So really pulling the leg towards us. If your neck is feeling achy or strained, just take your head and shoulders down as you do these. We go one more time on each side. And relax. Take your hands behind your head, and we're gonna breathe out to curl up with the head and shoulders, breathe in to lower. Here you wanna make sure your pelvis is still neutral. So your hip bones and your pubic bone should be in the same horizontal plane. So that as I'm curling up, I'm not tilting the pelvis towards me, I'm keeping the surface flat. And for some of you, it'll feel like you're trying to keep the space underneath your lower back as you do the curl up. So we're breathing out to curl up, letting the head rest heavy in the hands. Inhale to release. Exhale, curl. And inhale to release. We're gonna go up to the corner now, reach and release. We go to the opposite side, reach. 
and release. And as you go to one side, think of your rib going down towards your opposite hip. You gently lower. Exhale, reach up and over. Gently lower. And go one more time on each side. And relax. Okay, take the arms by your sides. We're going to do one leg stretch again, but a little bit more loaded version for the core. So, keeping your spine in neutral, and remember neutral just means your natural spine position. You're going to lift one leg up to tabletop, deepen the core connection, and go ahead and lift the other leg up to tabletop as well. You're going to reach one leg away, only as low as you can keep your core connected. And as the leg goes in, the other one stretches away. You bring one in, reach the leg away, bring the other one in, and stretch. So it's different this time because we're just bringing it up to 90 degrees rather than hugging the leg in towards. So you should feel it a little bit more in the core when you do this. Now if you want to, you can take your hands behind your head and curl up with the head and shoulders. And we're going to twist, crisscross, opposite elbow towards opposite knee, driving the rib cage round, as if you're licking underneath the armpit. And we're going to do 10 fast ones to finish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Well done. Stretch your arms back, stretch your legs, and have a little breather here before we do our one leg circle. So for one leg circle, you're going to take one leg up to the ceiling, and your bottom leg can be straight or bent. It's up to you, depending on how tight the hamstring feels. You're going to inhale to cross the leg past the midline of the body, and then circle the leg round. Inhale, take it across and circle round. And your goal is to try and keep your pelvis absolutely still as the leg moves wherever it's going, the pelvis, the core, the lower back that's unaffected. Change direction, you go around the opposite way. To challenge this, you reach the arms up to the ceiling. Try that and you'll see it's a lot harder to stabilize your pelvis against the moving leg. And release, change legs. We take the other leg up, circle in and across, out and round. In, round. Keeping the opposite hip heavy. Change direction. To make it easier, all you have to do is bend the knee, especially if the leg is feeling quite grippy. Just draw the circle with your knee instead. Change direction. And relax. Keep the leg there. Bring the other leg up to meet it. You're in your neutral spine again. Make your arms long. We're doing 100. Stabilize your shoulder blades. And remember, that just means slide them down the back. Nod your chin a little, and then curl up only if your head and shoulders are okay with this. And we're just going to pump the arms, breathing in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. It's 100 counts, so rest when you need to, or take your hand behind your head if you need to, if your neck is aching. Just alternate maybe every 10 or every 20 counts. In, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, 30, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, 3, 4, 40, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 50, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 60, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, breathe out, 2, 3, 4, 70, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, breathe out, 2, 3, 4, 80, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 90, in, 3, 4, 5, out, 2, three, four, one hundred, and relax. So you can just do a little bit of one leg stretch at the end just to challenge your coordination. We take the knees to one side as you exhale. Inhale, come back to the middle. Exhale, send your knees the other way. 
Come back to center. Twist. Center. Breathe out. Twist. Center. Great. Grab the back of your thighs. You're going to reach the legs forward and away and roll up to sitting. And we're going to do a rolling like a ball. So, rolling like a ball, you want your spine to be as round as possible. You're sitting off the back of your sitting, sitting bones. You're lifting the legs and you're keeping your eye line at the knees and your navel gently drawn in towards the spine. Keep that spine position now and you're going to inhale to roll back, exhale to come up to balance. And try and find your balance just off the sitting bones. So try not to go right onto your sitting bones and arch the back, but keep the lower back round. And you want to hit the brakes just a little bit early. So inhale, roll back, exhale, come up, hold there. Inhale, we go back and exhale, lift. And inhale, roll back and exhale, lift. Try and keep the distance between your knees and your shoulders exactly the same. And that way you'll feel it in the core. Inhale, exhale up, two more. This should feel like a lovely massage on your back, especially if you've got a nice thick mat. It does feel really nice. One more time. Good, and relax. You want your feet together, knees apart, and you're gonna try and get your head as close as possible to your feet. Just to stretch and breathe here a little bit. And take two more breaths, breathing into the back of the ribs. And roll up. Okay, so we're going to do our side bends now. And for level one, it's nice to have the legs stacked on top of each other with the knees bent. And I'll show you a, a, a progression for it if you want to make it a little bit stronger. So, if your wall is here, you're going to have your shins parallel to the wall and your middle finger is pointing towards the opposite wall on the other hand. So you're going to push down into the hand, squeeze your knees together and arc the spine up and over as you breathe out. Inhale, slowly bring the pelvis back down again just to hover before you pick the pelvis up again. So we're not going to land, we're just going to inhale, come down very gently, exhale, arc the spine like a rainbow shape, up and over. Inhale, release, and exhale, reach up and over. The setup for this one, just keep going if you can. If you have the hand, take it, if the hand is too far back, you'll find you're twisting a little bit. So if you feel like you're twisting, just bring the hand in a little bit closer as you reach up and over. Spiral your arm, bone, and shoulder open. So really feel like all that is turning so you've got the right stability at your shoulder blade. Reach up, over, last time, reach up, lower, come down onto the elbow, and we're gonna go, bring the feet slightly forward now so you're at an angle with the knees and the hips. We're gonna go lifting the leg up so it's parallel to the bottom leg, bring it back down again, and then you're gonna kick the leg back Kick the leg away, lifting the hips, and bring it back down again. So we go up, down, kick and lift, lower. Up, down, kick, lift, lower. Up, down, kick and lift, lower. Up, down, kick, lift, lower. Up, down, lift, lower. Two more. Up, down, kick, lower. Last one. Up and relax. Let's go over to the opposite side. We'll do our side bends first. So keep your shins parallel to the opposite wall, middle finger pointing to this wall, and you're gonna push down, exhale, we go up and over. Inhale, come down just to hover, if you wanna make it stronger, or just land to make it easier. Inhale to lower, exhale, push the floor down with your hand. Inhale, release. Really arc the spine and relax. Reach. Lower. Exhale, lift up and over. And release. Three more. Lift. You should feel this down your bottom waist and the obliques. 
and also in your shoulder stabilizers on the supporting side. Last one. Lift up and over and relax. Come down to the elbow, bring your feet forward just a little bit. Bring your top leg up so it's parallel with the bottom leg, lower. Lift the pelvis now as if you're doing a side plank, but you kick the leg out at the same time and you lower. So you lift, lower, kick and lift, lower. Lift and reach and lift and reach. I'm just going to increase the speed on this a little bit. Up, kick, up, kick. Inhale, exhale. And you should feel it again down the glutes on the bottom side, your waist. See if you can speed it up. Up, kick, up, kick. There's a little bit of coordination as well. Up, kick, up, kick. Five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Well done. So we're going to sit in our second position now, nice and tall, and we're going to do spine stretch forward. So on this one, you're going to drop your chin to your chest, roll down one vertebra at a time in a round back position, and then restack the spine as you breathe in. So breathe out, drop your chin to your chest, curve over the legs, and inhale to re-lengthen nice and tall. So this one, you're going to feel like hinging forward because you want to stretch the inner thighs. But the first part of this exercise is really about mobilizing the spine. So you're trying to make your spine as tall as possible, chin to chest, fold over the legs, roll back up again, chin to chest, curve, feel the abdominal connection, inhale, restack. And now we're going to hinge flat back as you exhale. Inhale to lengthen up, exhale hinge, and whatever works for you. You can slide your arms down the legs or walk your arms further forward and walk back up. But the feeling is you're trying to create space in your hip joints. So you're going to feel like you're sticking your bottom out behind you and lifting your breastbone so you can go further and further away forward. The body relaxes with rhythm. So each time, just walk your hands a little further forward. Walk back up again. Last time, hold. And try and make yourself comfortable. If you push yourself too much into a stretch too soon, your body will just tighten up even more as a survival response. Okay, slowly roll back up again and relax. Okay, so we're going to lie down on the back. We're just going to do a little bit more core work and then we're going to do some back work. So roll it back onto your back. We're going to do the double leg stretch. You're going to lift your legs up, have the hands on the outside of the knees, and all you're going to do is straighten both legs as the arms go overhead. As you breathe out, breathe in, hug the knees back in, Bring the hands to the knees again. So exhale, stretch the arms back, stretch the legs away. Inhale, bring everything back in. If you feel that by stretching your legs, you're pulling on your back and you're coming out of neutral, then just stretch one leg at a time. Bring it back in, stretch the other leg. Bring it back in. The full exercise, we take the arms back and as they come in, we're going to circle them round as we bend the knees back in. So breathe out to stretch. Inhale, circle round. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, circle round. And you decide how low the legs go. You can curl up with the head and shoulders if you like. For a lot of people, this feels like too much tension on the neck. And you can still feel like you're working quite a lot if your head and shoulders are down. In fact, often when you lift the head and shoulders up, the exercise feels a little bit easier because you're balancing out the weight of your legs. Three more. Stay curled up if you're up. You're either all the way up or all the way down, not halfway. And relax. 
Keep your leg bent at 90 degrees. You're going to arc the leg down towards the floor. Bring it back up again. Arc the other leg down. Bring it back up. So it stays 90 degrees and you're tapping your toe down towards the floor and bringing it back up again. Because the tendency will be to bend the knee more. But imagine there's, your leg is in a pot or a cast and it's stuck there. So as you go from one straight to the other, holding the abdominals in, you can go faster. Try and stay really relaxed in your neck and shoulders. And then the last version that you can add is this full scissors with straight legs, head and shoulders lifted, pulling the leg gently towards you to feel the stretch. One more on each side. And relax. Okay, so we're going to lie down on the front now. So if you just turn around onto your mat, on your tummy, and take your arms to a swan dive position by the sides of the mat. So ideally just off the sides of a typical mat. You're going to slide your shoulder blades down the back. So notice before I've done anything, my shoulders have moved away from my ears. And as a result of that, my back and my head is lifting. And then exhale, relax. And shrug your shoulders again or let them fall. Pull your shoulders back and away. Lengthen through the crown of the head forward. Exhale, release. Inhale to lift. And exhale to lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale to lower. Good. One more time. Lift and lower. Take your arms by your sides now. Roll your shoulders back and down. Lift and dart forward. Exhale, relax. Inhale, roll them back and down. Lengthen forward through the back of the neck and release. Roll and dart and release. So really feel here like you're squeezing your shoulder blades together and not lifting using your lower back so much, but more of the middle back and the upper back. Last one. Lift. And now hands go underneath the forehead. You can slide your shoulder blades down. Bring the hands up with you. Exhale, lower. Forehead and the hands lift together. But it's not a high lift. Just hovering above the ground. Breathing in to lift. Out to lower. One more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Rest your head on your hands now. You're going to lengthen one leg away as you breathe out. Breathe in to lower. Lengthen the other leg away. And lower. As you lift the leg up, try and lift using the glute and the hamstring, not your lower back. So that part should be really, really stable. And you can gently think of your core muscles at the front as you're lifting the leg back. To make this a little stronger, we're going to lift both legs up at the same time and just scissor kick the legs at the same time, kicking as one goes up, the other goes down. And try and keep the back really stable here as well so it's not twisting the pelvis. And by now you should really feel the backs of your legs working. We're going to come up into a dark position. Bring the arms forward. Try a few with the arms as well. Go slow if your pelvis is dancing around. The extremities should be moving, but everything in the middle really, really stable. Hold and relax. Push back to a shell stretch. Bend your knees, make your spine extra round after that. Okay, we're going to come up on all fours. Take your hands to the edges of the mat. And you're going to find your neutral spine again. Hold neutral. Spread your shoulder blades on the back. Stretch one leg. 
engage your core, stretch the other leg, squeeze your legs together, and just hold this plank long stretch position. And here think of your alignment and your posture. Remembering that your posture cements under load a lot more than it does when you're not loaded. So your posture matters more in these more loaded positions like this one than it does in some of the other exercises. Keep breathing. Continuously. You should start to feel your upper body working. So two more breaths here. And then bend the knees and child's pose or shell stretch. Okay, just to give the wrists a little bit of a break, we're gonna do kneeling squats, so working a little bit into the legs. So you're gonna inhale, sit on the heels, exhale, come up, back to sitting again. So if your knees aren't comfortable in this kneeling position, you can do regular squats standing up and then roll back down again when, on the next exercise. Squeeze the bottom forward, sit the hips back, squeeze the bottom forward, and sit back. And again, you're thinking of your neutral spine and your core. Reach the arms back, inhale, lift, make the arm movement just a little bigger now. Good. Three more. Two. Last one, three, and we come back to our plank position. Stretch the legs again, and this time you're gonna roll forward onto your toes. Exhale, roll back to your heels. So you're moving a little bit in your plank this time. Dart the crown of the head forward. Inhale forward, exhale back. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. The challenge here is can you dart forward and back and still keep your long line without the bottom starting to lift, without losing alignment. Good. Three more. You go forward, two, three, and relax. Bend the knees. Come back to your kneeling squats. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, straight up. Inhale, down. Straight up. Down. We'll do 10 of these and then we're finishing. And four. Exhale, five. And six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Exhale, 10. And relax, curl your toes, walk back to your feet. We're coming up to standing now, so you're gonna stretch your legs and hold the stretch for a breath or two here. If you have any back trouble, feel free to bend the knees. Or if you're not reaching the floor, just grab the legs or fold your arms. And let your head hang heavy. Shake your head no, nod your head yes. Just to relax the neck muscles and then pressing down strongly into the feet. You can imagine there's a weight on your tailbone, dropping the tailbone down, restack the spine, all the way back up to neutral. And to finish, you're just gonna lift your right arm, stretch over, hold that stretch and make your spine even longer. Release, left arm lifts, reach over, hold. Release, interlace your fingers, stretch, lengthen, push up onto the balls of your feet, lower the heels, release the hands, lengthen up through the crown of the head, nice and tall to finish. Well done everyone. So thank you for joining me today on this workout and I hope to see you again soon.